Man. Yankee fans are definitely fired up. You know, they want change. They want people gone, traded, fired, DFA. I get it. <laughs> the, that's why I kind of, you know, I, I try to propose doable things, things that can actually happen and they can actually do. Um, as much as we're frustrated and our emotions don't make the moves that the team needs, that the franchise needs, right? So that's why I kind of was talking about the guys yesterday. And just to put it in perspective, okay, for those that like analytics and, and, and F4 and stuff like that, this year the Yankees have received negative 0.6 F4 from their left fielders. One reason I wanted the trade for Brian Reynolds, okay, not only for versatility, positional, you know, uh, Acumen and you know um, switch hitting, contact hitting, excellent base running, but that this type of stuff as well. For those that are fascinated with these types of metrics, he would have gone a long way towards helping that regard. And again, I know some folks say it was defensive metrics and blah blah blah. Look what we've had out there so far. Franchi's been awful. Oswaldo's been struggling in the outfield too. And again, Brian Reynolds wouldn't have had to be the guy here. And they had Bader, they had Judge, they had other guys here. He wouldn't have had to be the guy. But it's too late now. But. You know, I do, I do understand that they want to change this. And again, that's one reason I, tr you know, proposed some guys yesterday. And I said, I want to know what folks think. And I want to know who you think. And we'll talk about it more, you know, on the live streams later and everything. And, and, um, cause I definitely want to know, you know, if you, if you could pick two or three things that would change the Yankees trajectory right now, what would it be? And I'm, I am, I'm proponent, proponent of being patient, even though it's easier said than done and letting them kind of figure them, figure it out and dig themselves out of the hole and hitting rock bottom and getting out of there and hopefully staying there. But again, it's easier said than done. And it comes with the territory here. We're demanding fans and we want our team to play well. And when you do have a high payroll and you have a lot of high paid players that are not performing for your know, heads, heads, people want heads to fly. And sometimes I disagree with the particular heads that should be flying because it's, you know, Players should be held accountable just as much as owners and coaches and general managers and blah, blah, blah. But I I go I totally understand what you folks are uh, getting at. But with that, let's get to the line. They're playing a matinee today against the, game, to the, the Twins. They've already lost a series, so hopefully they'll come out of here with a scratched win today. But we got Anthony Volpe leading off at shortstop. Aaron Judge bats back at second again, DHing. Anthony Rizzo's at third playing first base. DJ LeMay, was cleaning up at third base. Labor Torres batting fifth, second. Willie Calhoun, uh, Franchi Calhoun, excuse me. No, excuse me, Willie Calhoun um, in right field batting sixth. He had a decent game yesterday. IKF is in center field today, batting seventh. Kyle Higashioka is at the dish, batting eighth. And Franchi Cabrera. No, excuse me, not Franchi. What am I talking about? Oswaldo Cabrera <laughs> batting ninth in left field. So there's no Franchi Cordero, and I'm not surprised. He's reeling pretty much. And, you know, Oswaldo hasn't found his footing yet either, but he, I think he has more value to this team than Franchi does but at this point. But And on the bump, on the stump, on the hill, on the mound, Domingo Herman. Hopefully he'll feed off of what he did last time. He had a pretty solid game. Two mistake pitches, but he had a pretty solid game. Um, and hopefully he'll put them in a position to help win, and hopefully the offense complements him and puts them in a position to win. Okay, the offense needs to do their part, no doubt about it. And uh, and it's that when I saw that metric today, that negative point six F four with the left fielders, that's dismal, dismal. You know, and I think uh, that's one 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 motivating factor to upgrade significantly in left field. Bader or not, I think mean, Bader won't be coming back until, and they've already announced this. He's got, and he's been promoted to AAA. He's got to play two consecutive nine inning games before they can call him up. Before they will call him up, I should say. So, look for that, and then look for Bader to be up here probably in the next week. And I would look for Severino to be up here in the near future too. And it sounds like Tommy Canley's closer to coming back too. So, a couple of bright spots, still not enough of them. We still have a ways to go to get better. They're in fourth place right now. I know it's early, but. It sucks to see, but, um, you know, let me know what you think. What do you think of this lineup? I, mean, I botched a few names several times, <laughs> whatever. Um, let me know what you think of the lineup. I mean, I would love to, I would have loved to have seen a guy like Brian Reynolds or uh, apparently somebody said yesterday that um, one of the Diamondbacks outfield, Jake McCarthy, was optioned. Maybe he's looking into him. No, I haven't confirmed that, but if it's true, maybe they will look at him as a young, controllable player. He's still developmental, just like Oswald, Oswaldo Cabrera is. Um, and you never know. And you know, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll double-check this right now while we're up here, just so that 
we have confirmation. Okay, it's like Jake McCarthy. Okay, and we've talked about him before. Okay, we've talked about him before. So, and he is, yeah, they optioned him. Yep, MLBTradeRumors.com. So they optioned him and uh, to AAA, it looks like. They recalled another, another position player. So maybe he'll become available. And I'm not, we can't say he's an upgrade. We don't know if he's an upgrade over Oswaldo. Okay, we don't know if he, you know, is he an upgrade over Jason Dominguez, Everson Pereira, who's not hitting for, Dominguez is heating up. I know people want him up here now, but he says to get through AAA first, unfortunately. So, and even those other guys I mentioned, Bowers, Dunham, there's other guys. Is McCarthy better than these guys? We have no idea. We have no idea, but it gives them a cheap controllable option so that they're not having to overpay for somebody in a trade. And, you know, a, a trade for the Reynolds would have been an overpay in terms of prospects. With the contract he got, that was definitely not an overpay. So, but that's in the past. We'll see what happens. Talk to you in a post game.